Hello. In this uh, video, we will learn um, how to uh, do a t-test of amine with the given data uh, using GeoGebra. So go to the link below and copy the, um, the app and um, follow along with this lesson. A report by a Gallup poll found that a woman visits her doctor on average at most five times each year. A random sample of 20 women result in the yearly total visit um, is down here, assuming that the data are drawn from the normal population. At the alpha equal to 0 0.5 level, can it be concluded that on average, each woman visits her doctor less than five times per year? Okay. So it, when you open the app, you will see something like this. The data already in here for you. Uh, but if you um, want, you can enter these in here, or you can copy from Excel, and then you, you place it in here. So before we do that, let's summary what it given to us first. OK. So we have the random, uh, random sample of 20 women. That means n equal 20. And then if you go down the list right here, you also see um, 20 data down here as well. Right? So make sure it, the data are matching with what they say in there. Okay? And then um, <clears throat> that's all they give it to you. Or another thing they give you, they give you say that alpha um, equal to 0 0.05. Right? And then they want you to test that on average, each uh, woman visit her doctor less than five times per year. That meaning um, the average, I mean, talk about the population mean, huh? So therefore your, um, yeah, <clears throat> your original claim, that would be um, <clears throat> the mill, right? So population mean, that means mill, and I don't have mill, so I write mu right here. So. Uh, will be less than five times per year. So you're going to have it less than uh, five. Yeah. So therefore, the alternative claim would be also, we talk about mil, so this one also mil. But this one is opposite with less than five, that means greater or equal to five. Right. Yeah. So therefore, from this, we can have that HO. HO always have the equal sign. So you can say this AO will be the alternative right here, but we could take a short, we could look at the equal only. So nil would be equal to five, right? And then <clears throat> the, um, the HA, the alternative hypothesis that nil would be, would be the other claim that would be uh, less than five. Yeah, okay. Now with that, and then we're ready for the test. So they don't give us the mean. They don't give us the uh, sample mean, uh, sample standard deviation, but we have the data. And they don't give us the population standard deviation, so we have to use the t-test, okay? So here we go. Go down here. So you either enter uh, this data into this spreadsheet right here, or you can copy, if you have the data on the textbook, you can copy and paste here. Or over here, um, I already provided for you. So you just highlight this data. Yeah. So make sure you go down to 20, right? And then here is, um, click on this part right here. It say one variable analysis. You click on that, and then you will see something is shown this way right here. So you click on this symbol right here. If you hover over it, it says show statistics. Or the sigma x right here, you click on this. Right. Now we don't use this one to get axis out, so we have more room to see things right here to move over. So when you click on statistics, you see N20. Make sure over here they say 20 data, 20 pieces of information. Then over here, you should have N equal 20. Okay. And then they calculated for you the mean. This is sample mean. And this S right here, 
the sample of standard deviation. We not worry about the sigma over here, okay? And they also give you more information, but we don't need that. So now right here, we're gonna use the t-test of a mean right here. And then you're gonna enter your mu right here, mu equal five, so you enter five. And then alternative, um, that would be um, mu less than five, so you choose right here, you choose less than five. And uh, so when you have that, your all information that come out right here. So this P right here, that my P value, that T right here, that T value. Okay, and they give you the um, sample size and the sample mean right here, right? So with that, we can uh, do the work here. So we have the P value would be equal to uh, 0 0.0, Two seven seven, right? Oops, zero. Right. So this one we're gonna compare with alpha. The alpha a point oh five, right? So this one it could be less than zero point oh five, yeah. So therefore, we will say it because it less than alpha. Therefore, we reject a o. Right. We reject a o. So we reject SO, that means uh, over here, we will do not reject SA. Do not reject SA, right? But we look it up here, what is SA? SA would be right here, the same thing with original claim. That means we do not reject the claim. Do not reject the claim. Right. So that means this data here is do not reject the claim. That means we support uh, we support we support the claim. Right. So we can say that okay. So it's 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 like it's enough. Uh, we can statistically can support the claim that. So we can conclude that part right there, okay? So we say, we say over here, uh, you can say we do not reject this claim, that right here. Uh, on average, a woman visit her doctor less than five times per year, right? Yeah, less than five times per year. So that's what is um, the Gallup say right here. Like they say it's, you know, on average at most five times per year. So they say at most five times, that means could be no visit, one visit, two visits, two, three, four, but at most five. So we say five or less is, is a good one that you have in there. Okay. Um, so that would be um, the test. So you can do any other problem using this app below right here and uh, to continue your work.